Hello YouTube, this is Cal L with the Poboy Special Channel again. We're back here at Scotty's Gunworks. He's going to show us some really cool stuff today, so uh, let me get back over to Scotty. Yeah, what we're fixing to do now is we're fixing to cast the chamber here and this old rifle right here. This is an old 7.7 .7 Jap rifle. Look like somebody got in there with a drill bit or a reamer or something and it's really messed the chamber up on this. So what I'm going to do is I got some casting material right here and I got a ladle here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt this. I done plugged the bore up and I'm going to melt this and pour this down in the chamber and then you know when it cools down a little bit we'll knock it out and that'll give us a, cam uh, a chamber casting. And that'll tell us, you know, what they, you know, bored this out to. So this is to cast it to get a better view of what's actually inside the board. Right, uh -huh. right. Yeah, and I've looked at this with a light, and I just don't believe it's going to be safe to shoot. I don't know what they did. Well, let's take a look at it with a light real quick, so sure. maybe you can show what we were saying. All right, here, here we go with a, uh, a really good close look of that, of that chamber. Uh, I think y'all can see that. Uh, but anyway... Uh, if you can, I'll explain it to you. It's just got some real bad uh, cuts in it. Uh, looks like, like I said, look like it took a drill bit to it, or a chamber that had a lot of chips in it. But it really scarred it up good in there. Um, so my opinion is, I would probably just rebarrel this rifle. We're just going to go ahead and cast the chamber. Uh, that way, we can kind of get a better look at it. It's basically what we're doing. And so, you know, we can find out what they did try to uh, chamber this rifle to. Because it was originally 7.7 .7 Jap. So, Scotty, you were just showing me some uh, shells that you had there. And, and uh, can, can you show me the difference between these two shells? Yeah, this is that 7.7 .7 Jap uh, that I showed you that we're going to put the chamber casting in. This is what the shell, you know, actually looks like. And, of course, you know, this isn't a loaded round. But, anyway, when he... Put a loaded round in there and shot it. That's what it looked like afterwards. So that kind of gives you an idea. You oh, know, that's of, uh, not good. Yeah, yeah. that kind of gives you an idea. That I, I personally think that this uh, thing needs to be rebarreled. Uh, but anyway, we're going to cast the chamber and try to figure it out. But I just don't think there's any hope for it. But all right. Now, what, what are you going to do next? Well, what I'm going to do now is I've got uh, some of that casting uh, material, and I'm going to put it in here. You know, it's the block that we showed. I done broke it in two. Okay. And I just kind of wanted to see the uh, melting point on it, so I melted half of it. Of course, it's, it's going to have to be reheated. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to start out with that much right there, and we'll probably have to add some to it. Um, we may just go ahead and uh, melt all of that, because it's better to have too much and not enough in here. So I'm just going to kind of put it. Now this ladle, you said that you crafted that yourself? I did, yeah, because, you know, it's uh, the way a chamber is in a gun, you know, it's got to kind of reach over in there. You want to make sure you don't spill it. It's, it's, I got it bent up to where it'll go right over the chamber where we can just kind of ease it in there. Oh, nice. You know, so that's kind of what that is. And plus we'll have to use it as a, a heating utensil to melt this stuff. All right. So, just put it in our little vise. Make sure everything's good and stable. Take this torch. Fire always makes for good video. Yeah, and you just basically just heat it up so it gets All to right. the melting point. And of course, we want to watch our eyes, make sure no splatter comes out of this. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep my distance, folks. I'm not wearing any eye protection right this yeah, moment. So we want to keep things safe around here. I'm not gonna but, get uh, too close to that. This is basically all you do. I think the melting point on this is around 160, give or take. You can see it's starting to heat up pretty good in there. Mm -hmm. I can see it's going to melt it. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and drop this in there. and might be a little much, but better a little much than not enough. Alright, so it is melting good in there. like a candy bar. All right, and folks, I'm going to stop this and move around to the other side so when he starts to pour it, I'll be in position. So here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. okay. and that's all there is to it, folks. And we'll just let that settle and cool down. 
All right. Meanwhile, we'll let this cool back down and uh, use it next time. Awesome. Is the barrel hot? No, it's kind of cooling down. What we want to do is want to give us a few minutes, and uh, then we'll tap that out. So, Scotty, what are you doing right now? Well, we attempted to uh, cast this chamber, this particular rifle right here, and I was kind of afraid this might happen. Uh, it's got a burr up in there, and what it's, the burr is causing, it's, it's causing the uh, casting material not to release. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and melt all this back out and uh, clean it up and just uh, declare this gun right here needing to be rebarreled because I think somebody got up in there and they really messed that chamber up. As you seen earlier when I showed you that empty shell, how deformed it was. Uh huh. Uh, the casting got up under the uh, deformities and it's holding on is basically what it's doing. Which, it's, which that's right here, yes, folks. Sir, so it, so. I can put that right here. You can see it's even got a split in the brass. Right. You're not supposed to have to uh, hit it real hard. Most of the time it'll just tap right out of there and you can get an idea of what uh, you're dealing with. But in this particular case right here, it looked like somebody may have took a, a big drill bit or something and got up in there and opened that up and really gouged it up pretty bad. So Yeah, they, they really ruined that barrel, haven't they? Yeah, so I'm going to rescue my material that I used and uh, save it for another day. All right. So, Scotty, what did we learn from this? Well, what we did learn from this, this gunner is definitely unsafe to shoot, and it's too far gone to fix. The chamber's been opened up, as you can see how deformed the shell is. Somebody attempted to shoot that, and that's what they came up with. You'll notice how deformed it is. That's why yeah, my casting wouldn't come loose. this under here. And, exactly. Uh, I got too much reflection on that, but folks, yeah, it, it actually has a big bulge right here, yeah. right there. You know, your traditional uh, cartridge has kind of got go. a taper to it. And when you don't have that taper, when you got a straight cut like that and bulges, your casting's not going to come out like it should. Uh, technically, this right here is really your casting. Uh, yeah. When he shot that, that right there is basically what the chamber looks like. Um, we we're just going to, you know, cast it and maybe we could get a deeper look at it. But uh, like, like you saw, it just wouldn't, just wouldn't cast. But we'll just declare it unsafe to shoot, rebarrel it, make a new rifle out of it. All right, sounds good.